The beauty scientists, Dr. Christy Hamilton and Dr. Roy Kim. Real beauty without the hype. What about uh, risks of surgery or complications? How do you how do you counsel your patients about that? And what, what can we do to minimize complications in eyelid surgery? Yeah, as, as you know, I think the biggest risk is bleeding. So I think what we worry about is the overall aesthetics and bleeding and infection. The face has really good blood flow. So I guess infection can occur. It just isn't as common compared to other types of plastic surgery we do. Bleeding is a much bigger concern because we do not want any excessive bleeding around the eye, around the optic nerve, or even just in the cheek or eyebrow area. So it's critical for patients not to be on any blood thinning medication beforehand. As surgeons, we're really, really, really OCD about making sure that there's no bleeding before we close up the incision. And even afterwards, patients, we tell them all the time, hey, don't do any, I don't know, CrossFit activities the next day after surgery. Don't take any blood thinning medications after surgery and so on, because we want you to heal up as well as possible. I also think in terms of complications, the appearance of your eye, how much uh, skin laxity or skin tightness you have before surgery sort of determines how you feel after surgery. You mentioned that dry eye is a complication. That's because, especially with upper eyelid lift, we have a lot of loose skin and it's been able to cover the cornea, the actual eyeball, very well over many years. Well, you may look better right after surgery, but the ability to blink is hard, to create tears, all that swelling slows that down, along with coverage of your cornea, is very common for patients to have dry eye afterwards, and we need to make sure that doesn't last longer after surgery. Anything else you want to throw in there in terms of potential complications? I think you know the the main thing is that we really take the time to measure really precise placement of scars, things like that. So th these are all essential components of the surgery to make sure that at the end, like you want that scar right in the fold, not too high, not too low. So these are some of the things that we'll, we'll address in revisional surgery sometimes when patients come in. But truly, eyelids, the skin is so thin, it heals really well in essentially everybody. And it's also important to, you know, be conservative. You're still going for a beautiful result, but just don't take out too much. Don't take out so much that we're pulling on the lower eyelid. That's considered a complication too. You can always take out more. So I think a natural result with a significant improvement is, is where you want to be with any plastic surgery. Thank you for joining us on The Beauty Scientist. Be sure to visit thebeautyscientist.com and learn more about modern beauty and connect with Dr. Hamilton and Dr. Kim.